What's good everybody, Hector here, back again with another video for you guys. I would like to welcome everybody back to the channel, but if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that bell icon while you're at it so you're notified whenever I drop new content to the channel. Also, be sure to leave a like on this video because a like helps the channel out and it definitely goes a long way. So now that that's out the way, today we're going to be reviewing a sneaker that I know a ton of people were going for. I know I went for them. I also went for the Air Jordan 1 Tokyo and I failed. And I also failed on the Santa Reds, but my fiance sure didn't. Now she's been getting lucky hitting all these sneakers on the sneakers app, which is unheard of. She's been hitting the raffles on the foot sites, which is unheard of. Like I need her luck. But yeah, she did manage to hit on the sneakers app. She went for her size, which is a size six in women. My women's size would have been like a 13. That, of course that wasn't gonna happen. But nonetheless, I am happy that we do have a pair on hand that I can review. Now these did retail at $170, and it's cool. It comes in a red and black Jordan 1 box. I will say I'm not a fan of the removable top boxes. I'm, I, I feel like they're less sturdy than the, you know, the ones with the flaps. But beggars can't be choosers. And like I said before, I know tons of people went after this, and there were tons of L's to be handed around Christmas presents. So real quick in the comments, let me know, did you get a W or L on this? Cause I know I sure took L's. But anyway, enough about that. Let's just get right into this sneaker. And as always, I'm gonna unbox this with you guys cause I, you know, I, I love sharing a moment with you guys. So let's, oh yeah. That is one beautiful sneaker. Look at it. Boom, so there you go. Air Jordan 1 satin red in all of its glory. Look at the reds, look at the blacks. Look at like the, the silkiness. Look at the silkiness of the tongue. So what I did is I laced one up and I left one, you know, dead stock. And I didn't lace it all the way. I didn't do the last two because I feel like it looks so much better when you leave it like, you know, right there and you just tuck the shoelaces in. But let's just take a look at this pattern. Like the snakeskin pattern is amazing. Look at the way it reflects in the light. You got the swoosh also got the pattern going. And then right here you got the wings logo also. Lightly, you know, it lightly has the pattern. I don't know if it's focusing, but you can kind of see the pattern right over it of the impression. It's pretty dope. Right here, you got the stars on the outsole by the toe. Got the black under outsole right there. And then inside, you got the black insole with the red Nike Air swoosh logo. Damn, yo, I am so mad that I could not cop a size for myself. These look amazing. Like, they feel really comfortable on the inside, real soft. The colors just like, they just go together. Anytime you got a Jordan 1 with like anything resembling a Chicago colorway, you know it's gonna sell out and that's exactly what happened. But even still, like I said, I'm glad my fiance did cop a pair so I could review it because like these look amazing in hand. Like the pictures online do no types of justice. You gotta actually have this sneaker in hand to realize like the act like the absolute beauty of the sneaker like the craftsmanship it's amazing and I'm, I'm still stuck on the tongue like the tongue is like the silk feel like the, the cut i don't even know how to explain it but it just kind of has like this shine to it now it does also come with the extra laces you got the red laces and the white laces honestly the black laces look the best on them I've seen some pictures with the other laces and honestly, the black laces look best and then the white ones and then, you know, the red ones last. Cause that, that'll put like too much red on a sneaker. Like I said before, I'm still upset that I couldn't get me a pair cause I have so many fits in mind for this. You know, some nice blue jeans, black t-shirt, you know, maybe a little wide so you can flex, you know what I mean? But I live in Florida, you know, so some black shorts would have been looking nice and a white t-shirt, something simple. I would have definitely been flexing with these, but no, the only thing I'm flexing is this L that I took. I really think the snake skin pattern is like the coolest part of this sneaker. Like literally when it reflects off the light, it actually looks more like, like dragon scales. Like, like if you slay the dragon and you use this skin to like, hook up your sneakers like you are definitely going to be the fairest in your kingdom if you come with the slay dragon ones but to be real with you this pattern kind of reminds me of the yeezy solar red which i just so happen to have a pair of 
right here. As you can see, you got the snake or the dragon scales or the snake skin, whatever you want to call them on this side. And I bet y'all are wondering how I got these and why they're so beat up. Well, let me tell you a little story. Back when I was in the sneakerhead, my cousin went ahead and gifted me these sneakers. I guess they were her boyfriends and they broke up on bad terms. So he had a pair along with some Tims and uh, they ended up coming my way. Now the reason they're so beat up is because back then I did not know what, what I had. Like these are grails. I didn't know what I had and I threw them on feet and I wore them. I mean, I don't feel bad because, you know, sneakers are meant to be worn, but damn, I freaking regret it. I shouldn't have worn them. I should have kept them clean and nice. And I still got the box. I still got the bag. I did swap out the lace tips, so they're not there. They're on the laces right now. And I, I think I lost like two lace tips. And yes, these do glow. I don't know if y'all can see it. I might have to turn the light off, but uh, you know, you got to hit it with the black light or any bright light and these things will shine. But anyway, let's get back to these babies right here there's just something about jordan one hides that hits differently i know we got mids that you know might have the same colorway but they can't compare to the ones do not get me wrong i am not a hater of the mids if i had to i would definitely rock some mids i don't care what y'all say i don't care what anybody thinks of mids mids are a decent pair mids are a decent sneaker and that's just my opinion on them there's just something that hits different about them like they they just just set like you know what i mean like they, they look good honestly i think what would have made the sneaker look a whole lot better is if they would have had like the reflective like so when the light hits it it actually looks like snake skin with like the rainbow reflective and stuff like that like something something like this you see the snake and how it's like you know you can see the rainbow pattern and stuff like that would have made this sneaker look crazy so yeah i've pretty much reached the part of the video where i have nothing more to say about this awesome looking sneaker so let's just kick it with some b-roll real quick So there you have it, there was my quick review on the Air Jordan 1 Satin Red colorway. If you did make it this far in this video, please go ahead and leave a like because a like goes a long way and it helps the channel out. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I drop new content to the channel. And while you're at it, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram where I post tons of sneaker related content, news, and a bunch of random stuff. So I got a bunch of more sneakers to review, so definitely keep it locked on the channel because you don't want to miss them. But I want to thank you guys again for watching the video. Until next time.